Hi everyone, for today's book review uh, we're going to be addressing a request, thank you very much, and we're going to be looking at SS Atlantic, White Star Line's first disaster at sea. This book has been co-written by Greg Koshkanov and Bob Chalk. The bulk of this book stems from 25 years of research by Greg Koshkanov. Unfortunately, he passed away and Bob Chalk has taken over the mantle and completed this book. And boy, what an epitaph. Every year of that research is reflected in the wonderful details that are within the pages of this book. The layout of the book is quite standard. We get an introduction into the state of steamship travel in the mid-19th century. The formation of the White Star Line, the construction of the SS Atlantic, and then a vivid reconstruction of its final voyage through to its dramatic wrecking, destruction, and salvage attempts afterwards. The book's dimensions may be small, but it is chock full of information. And as I said earlier, the research really just lives through the pages and the words that are written on those pages. We get an intimate understanding of the lives of the passengers and crew on board, what the voyage was like as they steamed towards New York, and then the conditions that led to the Atlantic running aground extremely dramatically on the Nova Kosher coastline. The account of the wrecking uh, is an absolute page turner. You just feel with the terror and the panic as all these people are trying to uh, save themselves as the ship is being pounded by the waves and then it slowly rolls over onto its port side. We then get chapters about the salvage attempts afterwards to recover the cargo and the bodies and there is a vivid account of one of the divers who dived on the wreck. And if you have uh, an active imagination, I recommend that you skip that account because it will give you nightmares. What is also wonderful about this book is that it brings the story completely up to date into the 21st century and gives you an account of what diving on the wreck would be like and also what to look for on the wreck. Being in such an exposed position and having been extensively salvaged, there is not much structurally left of the wreck, but if you know where to look, you can still find uh, the propeller shaft, boilers, hull sections, and plenty of debris. And you are guided through this within the chapter. As no doubt you're seeing up here in the corner, this book is extensively illustrated with photos, drawings, contemporary engravings, black and white, and color imagery that give you a comprehensive look at the ship itself, as well as the passengers and crew, and also the artifacts that have survived. If you are after one book about the story of the SS Atlantic, its dramatic sinking, and the events surrounding it, then do get this book. It is fantastically researched and wonderfully written. and Highly recommended for anyone interested in shipwrecks, the White Star Line, early ocean liners. This is one vivid book to read. So five captain's hats from me. Do check it out.